Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit personal because I am going to share with you 15 facts about me and uh, I hope you enjoy watching. So the first fact about me is that my name is actually Milen. This is how you pronounce my name. But in the UK, everyone calls me Mylene. So I just go with it. So either Mylene or Milen, I don't really mind. So number two, I speak four languages plus a fifth one, which I'm not really fluent in but I'm still trying to get more practice um, if I can. So the first language is French. Um, bonjour, comment allez-vous? The second language is Bafon from Cameroon. Um, um, mala, yamala, <laughs> omba. <laughs> um, the third language is Sango from Central African Republic. Um, Bahalao. <laughs> And the fourth language is English, obviously. The fifth language is Spanish. Um, I do understand a little bit and I speak a tiny bit. Um, hola, me llamo Milena y quería hablar un poco más español. Um, yeah. So all together I speak four languages and a half. Number three. I think I'm allergic to certain perfumes. I mean most perfumes in general um it just makes me dizzy which is the reason why i think i don't own any perfume at the moment i did have some perfume in the past um from friends and stuff but currently i'm not using any um i own i try to use body sprays and um, stuff like that and again i still depend on the smell i don't like strong smells because it just makes me dizzy and uh, yeah hopefully i'll be able to own a perfume and i love the chanel perfume but every time i smell it for more than five minutes that's it i start getting really dizzy four when i first came to england about five or six years ago um i couldn't speak english properly i did study english when i was in paris um in high school but when i came here i was kind of lost at the beginning but my first year was kind of tough because i had to like adjust to everyone's um kind of accent and um, I thought everyone was speaking too fast and I couldn't really pick up <laughs> all the language very, very quickly. Five, I love science, um, especially biology and chemistry. I love these two subjects. I've always loved them since high school. And uh, yeah, I just love studying the human body, the anatomy. Um, studying bacteria i love bacteria i love i love virus i love blood i love everything we i mean i just love science i mean i love to know why certain stuff are set up in a certain way um why how do we breathe why it's like that you know i just love um, discovering all this stuff and uh, which is the reason why i decided to call my blog style and DNA style because I love fashion and DNA because I love bacteria, I love chemical reactions, all this stuff. So yeah. Um, my interest in beauty actually started um about a year ago. I mean, before then, I wasn't too keen on um putting on mascara, mascara or foundation. I, I couldn't be bothered. I mean, I wasn't too interested in that and. Uh, I really, really got into putting on makeup and um, learning how to put an eyeshadow on about a year ago. Seven, I don't like snails. I'm scared of snails. I think I have a phobia of snails. Whenever it starts to rain, I get really anxious um, because I'm constantly thinking that I might come across a snail and I'm always looking on the floor and <laughs> Yeah, I just don't like snails because when I if I sit one, I feel like I'm literally gonna throw up or something. I can't even look at them for more than one second. I don't like snails. <laughs> I cannot remember the last time I went into a hair saloon. Um, I think I've been doing my hair, styling my hair myself for the past two to three years, and uh, I probably have got my hair done by a friend or two maybe once or twice so since then i've always styled myself my, my hair myself <clears throat> number nine i have a slight 
OCD. I have to keep everything tidy in my room before I leave. Um, even if I'm going to work early in the morning, everything has to be um, at the right place before I leave. Otherwise, I'll get quite kind of, um, I don't know. It just bothers me a little, a little bit to have everything messed up. I don't like to have a mess in my room. I'm not that crazy about, you know, having everything at the right places all the time. But most of the time, my room has to be tidy and just, <laughs> I have an OCD, I do admit that. I love white, black, neutral, gray. I love these colors and um, my this kind of addiction kind of started just recently, basically. Um, before I was kind of just lost into any colors, but nowadays I'm more into those, this kind of color palette and uh, I can add um, certain co colors, you know, every now and then. I have a really bad relationship with foundations. Um, I did own like a powder, um, foundation to powder by MAC about three years ago. I did own one and it wasn't too bad, but I wasn't really using it. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't keen on makeup. So I would literally use it once or twice in a year. And about a couple of months ago, I did buy a liquid foundation from MAC, which I use only once because I didn't really like the kind of cakey look on my face. And I looked a bit grayish, like my face would look really like a mask and the rest of my body will, will have a different um, tone. And I didn't like it at all. I don't like foundation and I found it quite heavy as well. And um, yeah, I use, nowadays I use a bit of powder and my concealer like today and I'm liking it better. At any time of the day, I can eat avocado and eggs. Um, any time I make um, like an omelet, I have to have four egg, eggs. Um, minimal, like this is the minimum amount of eggs that I need in my omelet. And um, this is kind of a bad habit, really. But I just, I'm just addicted to it. I love avocado and eggs. I love Naruto. Yeah. The cotton, the man manga, how do you call this? Manga or whatever it is. I love Naruto. Um I my cousin actually introduced me to this cotton a while ago when I was in Paris. I started to read it and then I started to watch um all the episodes on YouTube and stuff. So up to now I'm still addicted to Naruto. And um recently I found out that the last episode just came um came out recently and i'm kind of sad and i don't want to know um <laughs> what happens at the end i am a big fan of ebay yeah i think ebay is the reason why i keep shopping a lot and i'm enjoying it obviously because um even if i'm not you know keen on a piece that i bought a couple of months ago or like long time ago, if I have some um, an item that I'm not using, I can always go on eBay and sell it. And um, to be honest, for the past month only, I think I made about hundred pounds from eBay just by selling all my old stuff. Um, obviously, recently because I haven't, re I've been buying only stuff that I really need. I haven't been selling much stuff, but and I hope I won't have to sell my stuff because I really love them at the moment. But yeah, I really like eBay, and you you can also uh, not only sell but buy um stuff um at really good prices. The last fact about me is that I'm kind of slow when it comes to discovering um new music and or new movies. Maybe I'm just not interested in finding out the latest movie um that everyone's loving. But I think I should. I'm kind of boring on that side when it comes to music and. Uh, movies i just take my time really <laughs> and maybe like two years after i'll be like oh do you know this song and everyone will be like yeah it came out two two years ago my name this is the end of the video guys i do hope you enjoyed watching and that you did learn something new about me and i'll see you next time bye